Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Multiplying in Scientific Notation. So what do you do when you have a problem like this? 2 times 10 to the 3rd times 3 times 10 to the 4th. Well, you can follow these simple steps. First, you're going to multiply the coefficients. Then you're going to add the exponents. And then after you multiply the coefficients, it needs to be in proper scientific notation which means the coefficient needs to be between 1 and less than 10. If you need to make the coefficient larger, the exponent gets smaller. And if the coefficient needs to be smaller, the exponent gets larger. So I think after you look at some examples, you'll be able to do this easily. Now, let's work this first problem. Okay, We're going to multiply the coefficients, so it's 2 times 3 equals 6. Okay, we're going to keep the times 10, and we're going to add the exponents. 3 plus 4 equals 7, so the exponent is 7. And then we're going to look at the coefficient, and it is indeed between 1 and 10, so there's the first answer, 6 times 10 to the 7th. Okay, with this problem, we have 2 times 10 to the 5th times 8 times 10 to the negative 2. So let's multiply the coefficients. 2 times 8 is 16. And now, remember, we keep the 10. And now we're going to add the exponents. Well, a positive 5 and a negative 2 is a 3. So we have 16 times 10 to the 3rd. But now we are not in correct scientific notation. So it is not between 1 and 10. So we need to make the number smaller by moving the decimal to the left. So we need to move it one place to the left. One, whenever you move to the left, the exponent is going to get larger. When you move the decimal to the right, the exponent will get smaller. So we move the decimal one to the left, so we need to add 1 to the exponent 3. So now it becomes 1 and 6 tenths times 10 to the 4th. Now, let's begin with this one. We have 5 tenths times 10 to the negative 3rd times 9 tenths times 10 to the negative 4. We're going to multiply 5 tenths and 9 tenths, which equals 0.45 or 45 hundredths. And then remember, we're going to add the exponents. A negative 3 plus a negative 4 is a negative 7. Now, we are not in correct scientific notation. Okay? It's not between 1 and 10. So we need to move the decimal one place to the right to make the number larger, which means to the right means the exponent will get smaller, so we need to subtract 1 from the negative 7. So a negative 7 and a negative 1 equals negative 8. And remember, a negative 8 is smaller than a negative 7. So you end up with 4.5, or 4 and 5 tenths, times 10 to the negative 8. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.